what did you take away from Baker Mayfield today in his Zoom call? Well, the thing that stood out to me the most was the fact that he said he's moving in silence this offseason. And, you know, I actually kind of think that it comes from above. I think it comes from Kevin Stefanski. I think Kevin, and we've heard him say it before, you guys, uh, we've heard him say, you know, we're going to do it this year. We're not going to talk about it. And I think Baker has taken that to heart. This was the first really the first media interview that he's done all off season. You know, we haven't seen him all over the radio. We haven't seen him on Barstool. We haven't seen him on podcasts. And actually, you know what? Kudos to him for the first media uh, that, that he did was with us, the local media. I mean, you know, that that's kind of cool in today's uh, media climate for him uh, to do that for us. So uh, we got to give him a, a two thumbs up for that one. But, uh, you know, for the most part, he has not – uh, done anything yet and I think it's because he is just putting his nose to the grindstone he is working he knows he has to come back strong from a bad 2019 season that's what he's up to not only the working in silence but he made a note that uh, he's always been a worker and has moved in silence before things got bigger for him and that's what I think Baker is now uh, uh, playing with or flirting with here is the who is Baker Mayfield the celebrity the superstar and who is Baker Mayfield, the football player, the hard worker, and the teammate. And that's what it sounds like Baker Mayfield's trying to get into and back to. And look, when you're, when you're as young as he is and these things happen as quickly as they do, uh, you look, everyone hates the Johnny Menzel comparisons, but the point is with any young athlete, these things are thrown at them fast. And I thought that was really interesting. Baker uh, married those two points. That not only am I moving in silence, but – that's how I used to be before things got bigger. And for me, I, I may be reading into it, but that's code to me that his celebrity just really took off and he fell victim to it. And we all feel ourselves a little too much at some point. And Baker Mayfield was humbled by his 2019. He said that on, on get up, like you said, Dan, and now he's going to let his work and his play talk. And as we keep saying, the Browns have set up this offense for him to succeed. And we're getting closer and closer to finding out if that's going to be true in 2020. I just thought today was a, and probably out of necessity after what happened last year, this wasn't standoffish on the attack of Baker Mayfield. And, you know, we've gotten to hear him for a few years now. He just answered the questions. I thought he set a tone for, uh, for what the approach is and what Kevin Stefanski wants the approach to be. And I did, I did think, and Mary Kay, maybe this speaks to the maturity. I did think this was a different sounding Baker Mayfield today. Yeah, I, I thought so too. I really did uh, think so. And I think, again, that um, I think Kevin Stefanski has set that tone. And I think that's so vitally important. You follow the head of your organization. You follow your head coach uh, if he knows what he's doing and he knows what he's talking about. Now, under Freddie Kitchens, and I know I'm hard on Freddie Kitchens, but Freddie Kitchens kind of had this like, hey, boys will be boys. You know, they can kind of, you know, say what they want and do what they want. And, you know, Kevin, Kevin Stefanski consist, consistently says things like, uh, you can have some personality, but don't hurt the football team, you know, show a little bit of your, you know, of, you know, your funny side or whatever, but do not do anything that is not team protecting. And so I think he's got these guys thinking all business this year. And of course, we don't know how it's all going to work out. I mean, you know, we could get into the season and uh, losing does funny things to people, as we all know. Yeah. But if things, you know, if things are going the way people expect them to go, I think that that Kevin Stefanski has set forth a clear message about here's how things are going to go. And uh, 